Jeremy S. Cook here, and today I'm going to be showing off how I turn my 3D printer on and off using OctoPrint. Now the cool thing is the hardware I'm using, I can slide it back and forth and it all fits in this nice little electro enclosure. Everything's zip tied together to make it nice and clean. Got a light above as well as a the Raspberry Pi camera to, to view everything. But the coolest thing is I can turn it on with a smartphone, computer, or of course my tablet as shown here. So follow along to see how we did this. I'm going to be concentrating more on the hardware that he did, did for this, not so much the software that I used. So the first thing of course was to make a shelf. I played around initially with making a wooden shelf, but eventually this one from Amazon was, you know, I think it was like 50 bucks and it did the job really well. Now the next thing was actually making a mount for the camera that goes upside down. Really happy with how this worked out and actually made another video on this. It's kind of a separate, whole separate subject. So be sure to check that out. As cool as it was to be able to control and monitor things from a distance, I really wanted to be able to turn my printer off. So that's kind of the setup I had here. The red lines indicate the, the line that's actually turned on and off by the 3.3 volt relay. You can see me separating everything there. I left the neutral on and just, just cut off the line. As it stands here, the line in neutral, they're reversible because the plugs are the same size. This is actually kind of a bad thing. I addressed this a little bit later, but if you're doing a similar project, you'll need to be aware of this. One kind of cool feature of this is I actually locked it down with zip ties to initially. It's worked pretty well, but you know, I should note here, I'm not a qualified electrician and if you decide to follow this, you know, it's all at your own risk. I don't, I don't vouch for any of these methods necessarily, even though I've tried to try to make it as safe as I can and the metal, metal enclosure or metal, metal shelf definitely helps. But there I am locking everything down. It's the common and the normally open plug. So if anything goes wrong with the Pi, if, if power shuts off, it'll just shut off the whole thing. So normally it's open as in electricity does not flow. And there's the control wires there. I'm gonna use zip ties on this to, it's kind of a strain relief, so if you pull it out, it'll actually just pull on the on the zip tie. Works, works really well. Again, I don't know if this is an official method or not. Another thing I did, I used zip ties on the bottom to actually fixture it to the sliding camera mount. You can see it kind of set up here. Slid around there and this worked, worked pretty well. The, the moving motion that I had designed into the initial initial design was still still worked. Or I wouldn't even say I designed it into that, it just kind of worked that way. So there I am, the relay goes on, then it goes off. And there you can see the results there. The, the printer goes on, and then I can I can work with it, I can move it left and right and print. So that's the schematic of the plug with the, the light added in. The one, one big difference is that instead of having a, a plug that can go either way, it's actually got a line and a neutral. The neutral is a bit larger, um, but you could just kind of skip those straight. So I'm switching the line with the relay. This of course meant taking everything apart and making some modifications for my second iteration. So there I am, really another hole into it to make, to make room for that. That's a line and the neutral bank of, of wire nuts. Really happy with how these work. They just just clamp down, and lots of different gauges you can use on that. I just strip these wires back quite a bit. So there's the line, the black one, and then the white is the neutral. See the line goes to the relay, and the neutral goes to the bank, straight to the bank. So kind of like on the first one, you just had that one line going through, and it wasn't ever interrupted. On this one, you've got you've got three or two sources being supplied, so that lever knot makes a nice nice bank for each one to make that hole big enough and then there's the the lines for the the light and the 3d printer coming in everything's stuffed in this little case pretty well even after that although i i guess i didn't wouldn't want any more on that i guess it's always it always needs more space than you have the clamp light went up there nicely you put a zip tie to secure it and then zip tied everything down to make it nice and Nice and neat. Definitely an art form to zip tying things nice and keeping things neat, especially in this case, I wanted to be kind of flexible. So I made sure there was some, some slack there so it could move and still not, 
not cut anything off. I, I've, I've often thought about how, how to describe how you do this, but I guess it's some, it's just kind of art form. You just kind of have to pick up eventually, <laughs> but you'll get the hang of it. So after that, it was uh, successful. You can see that's my happy face right there. I'm celebrating my huge victory. Everything's ni nice and neat and turn it off. Now to see another view of this, boom, it goes right on. That was at night. Turn it on and then when you turn it off, it the lights go entirely off. Yeah, you can't see anything after that. So once that was done, it was time for a test print. You can see there, the light, light's going on. Connect up to the printer, then let it go. Looks pretty good there. Nice to be able to monitor it. I was using using Octolapse to actually take a time lapse of this, which you'll see in a while. This is actually a print for another project I'm working on, so you'll probably see this again sometime. But you can see me here just zooming in on that from a long way away. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, give it a, a like, subscribe, or even leave a comment. And yeah, hopefully this will help you out. Maybe you can give it a try. Again, use your own judgment. I'm not an electrician. So thanks for watching. This is Jeremy S. Cook signing off. Oh. And that was painful. Oh.